Hey guys, this is Pharaoh2091, and welcome back. Let's play Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Trials and Tribulations. Last time we left off, we found out that Mystic Elise was actually Mystic Misty, which is, of course, Maya and Mia's mother. We haven't seen her, or well, they haven't seen her, no one's even heard of her from for 17 years. And she shows up out of the blue, and, well, turns out she died. She was the one who got killed. Uh, that, that that's terrible because I mean we kind of think about think about it. Maya met her mother without her even knowing, so you know there's that big shocker. And then the earthquake happened, and we tried going to the sacred cavern. Yet we find more cyclops or locks or trick locks, whatever you want to call it. And Iris is there, so now we're all confused. And well, we don't know what the hell's going on, so. Let's continue on the investigation because uh, there's a lot of questions to be had. Right? Is this what Godot was talking about? Yeah, trick locks. Now then, Iris, please remove these at once. Um, Mr. Edgeworth, I'm afraid I can't. It, it's not possible for me. What? During an earthquake when the cavern was in danger of caving in, Iris escaped. And I know that there was only one lock when I last came here. So you're saying that you can't undo the new locks? Yes. If only I was stronger! Edgeworth, how are you feeling? You look a little pale in the face. Like you're the one to talk your face all green. Miles Edgeworth, go and get some air. I'll watch over the suspect. You won't get a grip on yourself. Don't be ridiculous. I'm perfectly done. There's no telling what sort of mistakes you can make in your current state. Go and get some rest. That's your only. Con that's your only concern now, Miles Edgeworth. Understood. I'll handle. I'll handle the investigation in the garden. You take care of things here. Edgeworth. He's got so much pride that he's probably off crying in the corner in the of the garden. Pride is simply another trap that hinders us in our lives. That said, one must have pride to be effective on the job. At any rate, it seems that there is this is where we part ways, Phoenix Wright. I'm going to stay here and see if I can't help solve these bothersome puzzles. I see. Well, uh, thanks for your help. Now then. Do you mind if I ask you th a few things, Iris? No, not at all. Yeah, like, oh my god, what the hell's even going on here? I kind of like, it seems kind of nice that, like, it seems like Francisca's, like, very, I don't know, sisterly to Miles, although she's how many years younger than him? I mean, they, they were essentially were kind of brother and sister, but, you know, there you go. So yeah, now let's go ahead and talk to Iris. Why did you make a run for it, Iris? I, I'm sorry. I heard the inner temple had been severely shaken by a strong earthquake we had. I, I was so worried. I just had to come and see. In other words, you didn't run away to escape the law. At least we're clear on that. I can't tell you how relieved I was when I saw the sacred cavern was all right, but... But what? Then I saw these chains here. I saw all these extra locks that someone had put on the Sacred Cavern's door, and... Hmm... Who in the world would have done something like this? I don't know, I guess that's what we're gonna try figuring out. These trick locks are a sacred treasure to Korean tradition. They are hundreds, there are hundreds of ways to set them. That's why only the person who set the lock can open it. And you aren't the one who set these locks? I don't think it's that simple, Francisco Von Karma. When we were here the first time, there was only one lock. But now, somehow, there's five of them. What does that mean? It means that someone wanted to secure the place even more. And they wanted to secure it before you got here, Iris. Presumably because they wanted to make sure Maya couldn't get out. This means that Iris can only open one of these locks first one. Yes, that's correct. What? Iris, try to think, please. Isn't there any other way around this? 
Well, like I said, there are hundreds of different ways to set these locks. I suppose if I went through every combination of each one, I could remove them. But... It will take time, won't it? Yes, about a day if I had to guess. A whole day?! Well, that's better than leaving our locks in place. Will you, will you do this for us? Sure, I'll do whatever I can. You've gotta wait another day? Hang in there, Maya. You're gonna have to call on your inner strength now. If you survived uh, being in the cellar um, by a kidnapper, then you can survive this. You know what, Iris? There's still one thing I don't quite get. And what, what might that be, Phoenix Wright? I think it's obvious. Iris, on the night of the murder, where were you? Please, Iris, don't give me that look. You told us that you were in a, at your room at Hasakura Temple at the time of the incident, but you were seen that same evening at the Inner Temple. And then, you were spotted at the scene of the crime in Hasakura Temple too. Being spotted at both Hasakura Temple and the Inner Temple, it's as if you were... Well, Iris, I think it's about time you told us the truth. And of course not. Please tell us the truth. Nope, there's some Cyclops. I knew it. There's something going on here that we don't know about. And of course, she is not going to tell us, so... That's all we can get out of her right now, so let's go ahead and move to, um... Let's move to the garden. I know Edgeworth said he's going to be doing some investigation there, so, uh... Let's see if he came up with anything. The cops are still combing the place. They look pretty nervous. I'd be nervous, too. It's gotta be a tough job. Especially with someone giving you the evil eye the whole time. Oh, no. How could I have done that? Wow, I can't believe it's still bothering him. Edgeworth? Ah! Uh, hey! Don't you dare run away! It's kinda funny seeing watching Edgeworth run. What do you want, right? What do I want? If you came here to laugh at me, then get on with it. Go on! Laugh away! Uh, I was ready to hug it out, of, out with him, but he's just the same prideful Edgeworth. Aww, what a nice friend. You want back to the criminal affairs department, right? You say you wanted to look into something concerning Iris? Yes. And thanks to what I found, I was reminded of something terrible. Oh, great. I wonder what he can what he could be talking about, although I think we already know. We should know, at least. You guys are putting a lot of effort into this investigation of the garden here, huh? There's a high chance this is the actual scene of the crime. That's why. You mean because of the riding and blood and the talisman in the snow? Exactly. As you know, those things couldn't have been planted here after a murder. But surely, you don't suspect... Maya, do you? We have to treat everyone as a sus suspect. Maya as well as Iris. It's her job, right? Oh, come on. How many times does Maya have to be, you know, freaking... Uh, every damn game, she has to be freaking, you know, um, what is it called? Suspected of murder. The first game, it was for, it was for uh, her sister. For killing uh, Mia. In the second game, it was because of... Um, what was the second game? What was she accused of killing? I forgot. It'll come to me. Oh, yeah, her, um, the doctor, because she was possessed or whatever, or she had, whatever, but that wasn't her either. And now they're saying it might be her here? Ugh, my god. So, I guess you still haven't gotten over your fear of earthquakes. No. Thankfully, my nightmares have stopped. But still, if the ground gives even the slightest tremor, I find myself short of breath. Seventeen years ago, when we were little school kids at little school kids at the same elementary school, Edgeworth found himself in the middle of a murder. It all started with that big quake that hit the courthouse. Yes. I was stuck in the elevator with my father, who was a defense lawyer. We were deprived of oxygen and we passed out. That's when it happened. That single gunshot shattered my whole life. I lost everything that day. 
all because of that earthquake. My dreams, my family, and myself. It's been more than 17 years now. And that case was finally resolved three years ago, right? You think I don't know that? I was there! But... It was such a shock. I never imagined I could be so wrong about myself and my, and my life. I'm sorry, right? There's nothing else I can say. Not after you chose to become a lawyer for my sake. And not after you saved me. Edgeworth, you're stronger than you think, so no more of this self-pity, okay? Yeah, that was one hell of a case in the first game. Because uh, before this, Edgeworth never acted like this. He was more of a... He was just mean to us, you know, like, all cocky and everything, always wanted to win, so... Yeah, I mean, he was a different man back then. I mean, sure, he's still kind of mean, but he'll help us out, definitely. There was something that bothered me about her from the moment we met. I felt like I've seen her somewhere before. Before. No. Wait. Not somewhere. I felt like I've seen her in a court before. So you went back to the criminal affairs department to look for her file? Yes. I checked every other every over I checked over every case file I've ever worked on. And I was right. I had seen her face before. Six years ago. Six years ago. It was my first appearance in court. And as cases go, it was my worst nightmare. So, who is she? Sorry, right. I can't give that information away to a member of the general public. What? Why not? It might be the crucial piece of the puzzle that solves the case. The woman I knew was the daughter of a jewelry store owner. She had nothing to do with I Iris and Hasekira Temple. And neither did the, did, this, did the case. No. That woman is completely unrelated to this murder. Unrelated? Yes. I can say that with complete confidence. You're wrong, Edgeworth! She's totally related to this case! I need to fill Edgeworth in. I need to explain the connection between Iris and the woman Edgeworth knew. But how are we gonna do that? Hmm... I don't know, man. We'll, we'll get to that later. Maybe, uh... I think somehow we're gonna be able to explain to him. But for the time being, let's go ahead and see what else is there, and then I'll stop the video in a couple more minutes. Finally getting to the bottom of this case. I can count on Iris to break those locks, so I should try to gather more clues. From Sister Bikini, Edgeworth, Gumshoe, and Pearls. Oh yeah, where the hell did Pearls go? She just kind of ran off because, uh... Well, she doesn't like Francisca, so... Uh... Let's see... Yep, okay. Yeah, I'm surprised that suspension break... It looks better, like I said before. It looks a lot better than what it used to be. It's weird that there's no one around all of a sudden. It sure gets quiet up here in the mountains when you're all on your own. Speaking of alone, I guess I should go back. I should check out the shack just down the path. Maybe I found Larry there sulking again. Hey, you know what? That sounds like a plan. So, of course, uh, Heavenly Hall is where. Well, yeah, that's where Larry. Now, were those pictures there before? Because I honestly can't remember. I'm assuming, I guess, I guess they're paintings, or maybe they're just pictures that Larry put up of, uh, himself and Iris. Oh, Mr. Nick, and here's Pearls. Pearls! What are you doing here? Nothing. What about Mr. Maya? Is she alright? Um, well, we don't know yet. Oh, I see. Hey, what do you think you're doing here, Nick? Larry? This is a loser shack where losers get themselves uh, get together to lose themselves. This is the what? Hey, we find comfort in each other's failures, okay? You got a problem with it? Look, Mr. Nick, this will erase a picture of me. That's um great, Pearls. We're gonna gather firewood now. We'll be cooking some half rotten tomatoes over a miserable little campfire. So stay out of our way. I don't believe this. Why can't he try getting fired up over becoming a better man? No one believes a word I say anymore. Listen to me, Pearl. You don't want to trust this kind of guy, okay? He will only let you down. Oh, Mystic Maya. Uh, I, I don't... Oh, God, Larry. Larry, Larry, Larry. 
I don't. Re I really don't know what to say about him anymore. He's just. He's Larry. I don't know. I mean, like Phoenix said, he's all hyped up because he's a loser, or like to be be a loser. And it's like, why don't you put that in a positive light? You know, try becoming a better man. But yeah, well, I guess it's harder said than done. So yeah. How about next time, guys? We're gonna go ahead and uh, talk to Pearls and Larry and. Well, see if, if they know anything else, or especially Pearls, since we haven't seen her in, in a day, so... Uh, yeah. We'll just see what she, has to, what she has to say. So, as usual, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for Let's Play Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Trials and Tribulations. I'll see you guys later.